First up, chilli peppers. Now, these are always a hot topic here at Food Unwrapped HQ, and Matt's challenged me to a chilli off. May the coolest man win. So this is chilli war. First up, some cayenne peppers. On the Scoville scale, which measures chilli heat, these are the least hot on our plates. Look at you. You're just showing off. Next, some chilies that are nearly five times hotter than the KNs. That's powerful. That's a little bird's eye, isn't it? Now, some Scotch bonnets. These are in the top 40 hottest in the world. So don't try this at home, folks. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> and finally, the Komodo dragon. These are nearly 30 times hotter than the KNs. <laughs> Why is it so spiteful? Ah! Ah! And now some pickled picante peppers. These are a bit calmer. <sighs> Sweet. Yeah, nice. They're not overly hot, but why aren't they fresh? We've eaten fresh ones. Why can't you get these fresh? I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for finding out. <sighs> All right, where do you reckon it's going to be? Swindon? South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Why South Africa? That's where these picante peppers come from. So I'm heading to the processing factory north of Johannesburg. And they really do keep these peppers under lock and key. Look at this. Proper security. Hi there, I'm Jim. Hi, Jim. Ian. Welcome to the factory. Nice to meet you. Ian Holmwood is operations manager here. So this is all chock-a-block with the fruit? In the peak season, yeah. So yeah, these have are. come straight, straight from, the, from farm. the farmer. How quickly have you got to process them, then? Five days from receipt into the container. Fruit deteriorates very quickly. And if I leave it longer than five days, the quality goes down. Ah, so that's why you can't buy them raw. Fresh picante peppers lose moisture rapidly after picking, so start to spoil after around five days. Wow, look at all these guys. These are our de -seeders. These 600 workers have one of the most important jobs in this factory. So all the de-seeding done by hand? Yes. That's incredible. Look, they make it look so easy. Can I have a little go? Yeah, you can. In a typical day, these de-seeders will each process 8,000 of these peppers. Oh, so, Brenda, talk me through it. Okay. What have I got to do? Like this. It's quite tricky, isn't it? Oh, yours is like perfect. This. Oh, I got it. Give it a shake. Yeah, it's amazing. Nice one, Brenda. Yeah. I'll pop that in your basket. Yeah. So how many trays would you do a day? We do six boxes, one heavy. Well, you can do up to six boxes yeah. a day? Yeah. So what do you do to pass the time? Madi, madi. years of going to factories around the world, never had a singing factory before. This is amazing. Removing the seeds also takes some of the heat out of the end product. But what next for all these peppers? So tell me, what's happening here? We're blanching the fruit. Is that to stop the fruit deteriorating and the colour loss? Deteriorating and colour loss and enzyme inactivation. Right. So when do these peppers gain their sweet flavour. So, Ian, what's happening here, then? The here's where we fill the product with bran at temperature, and the combination of the vinegar and the sugars and the spices in the bran combat the heat of the chilli pepper. Right, so this is where the spiciness of the chilli disappears, and now you've got a lovely, sweet, mild chilli. And that's why you can only ever find these protected picante peppers pickled in our shops. Now try saying that when you're a bit pickled.